Hello, uh, my name is Charlotte Peters and I am the director of Timeless. My name is John Raymond and I'm performing Timeless. So John, yeah. how would you describe <laughs> Timeless to an audience? A wonderful play, a one-man show, that's me, I'm the one man, written by a chap called Brian Coyle, who is a superb writer, intimate, searching and, and warm-hearted. What is at the core of it? What happens if we lose our memories? And I think that's what's so fascinating about this play and what makes it timeless, I suppose. Nice to put. <laughs> I know, yeah. thanks. It's a stream of consciousness, but with lots of other streams of consciousness sort of threaded through it. So it's, um, it's a nice challenge for a performer. When Timeless first was on last time, we did it in a festival a few years ago, it almost became not quite a thriller, but a really interesting tale where they got to put all of the kind of jigsaw pieces that are separate in it together to work out exactly what's happened. And how are you finding revisiting it as a director? And I think what's amazing about having a few years in between doing something and then remounting it is you can completely revisit it differently. Actually, in rehearsals, we've had a really lovely time re-exploring the character, but we're finding new things all the time. John, can you relate to our character, our cabbie Martin, in any way? Well, he's about my age. That's probably about where it stops, <laughs> if I'm honest. He's a very unreconstructed man. He's very old-fashioned in his views, not helped by the fact that he hasn't got the last 13 years. Do you ever have any issues with memory? I've always had a rotten memory, funnily enough. Always have. I can learn lines. I say that, that made me famous last week. <laughs> One of the things that really drew me to Timeless is that I have always had quite a lovely conversation with cab drivers. And I found some of the kind of really wonderful pieces of advice have come from cab drivers. I think sometimes perhaps there's a way about them that makes you want to share. And that's what I think we try and do with this. We want to create kind of a really warm and open space for the audience to feel like they're, they're part of the story.